Hey guys, this is the hike in Runyon Canyon Park. It's about a three and a half mile loop, but there are shorter options. So if you go to the website, I will uh, lay those out for you. It's right in the middle of Hollywood, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because if you want to do a hike right in the middle of the city, you can. And it's bad because it's right in the middle of the city. So you get fun things like power lines and helicopters, police helicopters and graffiti. But it is a really beautiful place. There's actually a lot of wildlife here. It's sort of a refuge for wildlife in the area. And that's uh, part of, uh, you know, the whole LA park system. So if you're in the area, definitely give it a try. It's actually close to some of the hotels in Hollywood too. So if you're staying here on a trip, you can actually walk over here. Parking can be tricky. Just go to the website and I'll explain that. But if you do come here, get views of the Hollywood sign right over there. There's Griff, uh, Griffith Observatory in the back, and those rain clouds are the uh, San Gabriel Mountains. Over here is downtown Los Angeles, where the Staples Center is. This is all Hollywood down here. And over there is the Pacific Ocean, and you can see uh, Catalina out there as well, out in the ocean. So, very cool. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, just go to hikingguy.com. I have all of the uh, information for the hike. But uh, otherwise, here's the turn by turns. So let's go. Now, parking can be tough here, but the good news is it's free. So you might have to drive a few blocks away, but you can just walk up to the trailhead address, which is right here. Now, this is one of the entrances to the park. It's uh, probably the main entrance, not an official one, but it's the one a lot of people use. And you're just going to head in the park and walk up this paved path. Up in the beginning, there's a little notice board and a map. You might want to take a picture of it with your phone and keep heading up here. This part's generally the busiest. There's people doing yoga and all different types of things, walking their dogs. Uh, just keep going through this gate. There are some off-leash dogs here, so just a warning. And we're going to keep heading up this hill. But we're going to do a little side trip to a hidden rock sculpture. So instead of going up to the right here on the main part of the trail, we're going to go straight on the smaller trail. And the trail gets smaller quickly and it goes to this little hidden canyon. And we're going to avoid any of these side trails here and just go straight. And eventually you'll come out to the uh, rock mandala, a sculpture by Robert Wilson, who's a real famous guy. You might want to look him up on Wikipedia, but he did this. And you can sit here and soak in the silence. And when you're done, go back the way you came and you'll come back out on the trail that we went off of earlier and you're gonna go uphill. Now this is gonna be the start of a longish uphill section, but you're rewarded uh, after a little bit at this little plateau here where there's a bench and you'll get nice views of Hollywood, downtown LA. Uh, this was a clear day. I could see all the way to Catalina in the Pacific. When you're done there, you're just going to turn around and start going uphill. And you can see the trail there in the distance. Now this is the steepest part, but you can always stop and soak in the views. But you can see how steep it is here. And just take your time. A lot of people do this. A lot of people manage to do it. Where this fence ends here on the right, you get nice views of the Hollywood sign right there. And Griffith Observatory. So there's a lot of places you can break. Otherwise, keep going up. If you take the shortcut down, you'll go down that way. There's a nice view of Catalina and the ocean opening up. Soak in the views. Keep going up. When you get to this bench, you've done the hardest part of it. And uh, again, soak it all in and then keep moving. Now, I mentioned earlier there's a shortcut. A uh, shortcut makes it about a one and a half mile hike. And when you keep going and get to this big intersection, if you take the trail down to the left there, that will bring you back down to the beginning. But otherwise, to do the full loop trail, the three and a half mile trail, just keep going straight here. And go past this gate. On your left is going to be a pool house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. If you go to the website, I'll tell you all about that. But otherwise, keep going straight. Avoid that side trail. There are cars here. There are people who live in the park, so beware of that. And then when you get to the gate here on Mahalan Drive, make the left and continue along the gate. And then the trail will open up a little bit, and you're going to keep going uphill. 
keep going straight here. The trail gets steeper. And on the uh, intersection here, you're just going to head to the left. And when you go left, you're going to come out on a little plateau where you're also going to get some nice views. You get some views of the trails that you just came up. Now, when you get up to the plateau, soak in the views. There's always little side trails, and they're just basically the little vistas or overlooks. But the main trail that you want is a hard right back here. And you can see it's the biggest one. And you're just going to keep going straight here. After a little bit, you're going to make the left-hand turn. It's going to seem a little counterintuitive to go around the park, but the right actually takes you out of the park, and you have to scramble down a steep hill. So we're just going to do this left and head downhill. At the bottom of this trail, it kind of opens up and rejoins a much bigger trail. And we're going to go straight here when it rejoins the bigger trail. We're not going to go off to the left. We're going to go straight. And there's a little rise as it goes up towards that power uh, tower that you see up in the distance and go straight through here and again you get nice views as you go down here but keep going straight and the trail will twist and turn around and eventually you're going to come down towards an area with some stairs now we're going to go down towards those stairs that mansion you see in the distance was sold for about 16 million dollars as a tear down which is always fun always something going on with it there it is there, but you're going to go down the stairs and we're going to go down a series of stairs here to get back down to the uh, trail. Here's some more of the stairs. And again, the views for this whole section are just incredible. So enjoy it. You did the uphill. You've earned it. So continue on the last little stair section. Continue going straight. And you're going to come to this mesa here, this little outcropping. You want to stay to the right of it. And you're going to go to the right, and there's going to be a trail going up it. Now you can avoid that trail down to the left. You're going to go around the back of it. You'll get some nice views down to the uh, Trebek open space here. But you're going to go around this, and there's a little climb to the top here. You can see here it's a little steep. There's some people coming down it. You're going to climb up this all the way to the top until you reach this little vista point. And you'll get awesome views into the park of the, uh, the way you just sort of came up, came down. So soak it all in. There's the trail towards the beginning. And then make the right and head straight down the trail. And you'll see it sort of unfolding ahead of you. There it is. And it goes down a series of ridges. Here's a heart defibrillator if you... Uh, are in sort of trouble up here. There's also one on the other side. If you know somebody who needs it, this is where it is. But you're going to go down here and keep going down. You can see the trail winding ahead of you there. This part can be steep, so just take your time. If you have hiking sticks, hiking poles, trekking poles, this is a place to use them. But you're going to go straight ahead. Here's another little outcropping, and you're going to head down at the end of this one, down to the left here, that's the way the trail goes. And again, this is all very steep. Um, I'll go down on my butt once in a while. It's okay. Plenty of people do it. Eventually, once you go down those steep sections, you're going to come out to the section with the fence and the bench. And here you're going to make the hard left. You can soak in the views, but after the views that you just had, this will seem underwhelming. So just continue on to the left here. And the trail will get smaller and it will come out to the shortcut road that I mentioned earlier. So if you took the shortcut, this is where you're going to come out. So you can rejoin the directions here. This again was a one and a half mile loop for the shortcut. But if you keep uh, going here, you're going to make the hard right here and head downhill. When you get to the end of the paved part, you're going to make the hard left and continue down this little trail. And eventually we're going to come out to... Uh, the paved section where we started right here. And you just make the right there and you'll be back at the gate. So that's how you do the hike. It's a fun one. And again, it's right in the middle of LA. So if you're in traffic, just pull over here and, uh, you know, get a hike in. Why not? If you want to do the hike and you're on YouTube, please go to the article on hikingguy.com. I have all the maps and information there. 
If you are on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor and click that little thumbs up button under the video, that will help other people find the video and uh, hopefully do it safely. So anyway, Runyon Canyon, it's a fun one, so uh, give it a try. I'll see you out there.